Hi, my name is Dr. Alex Shutkers. I am the Director of Cleft and Craniofacial Surgery at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Today, I would like to speak to you about neonatal mandible distraction. Neonatal mandible distraction osteogenesis is a procedure that we perform to treat patients with severe forms of Pierre Robin sequence. Pierre Robin sequence is a condition we discussed in another video. This condition results from the development of a small jaw, a poorly supported tongue that can lead to obstruction of the airway, difficulty breathing, and difficulty with feeding. Treatment planning for patients with Pierre Robin sequence can be difficult and oftentimes requires involvement of a multidisciplinary team. Our goal is to give the best outcomes with safe breathing and the best chance that a child has to feed and grow normally. In some cases, this is best achieved with corrective jaw surgery. In the newborn period, this is done with a technique called mandibular distraction osteogenesis. For mandibular distraction, an operation is performed where the bones of the lower jaw are expertly cut and a device is placed so that over the course of one to two weeks, we can slowly grow the lower jaw to correct its small size and open the airway for better breathing. Not all patients are good candidates for this operation. To decide if babies are going to respond well and to get better with mandibular distraction, we partner with our ENT colleagues to perform an airway evaluation where we look for other problems with the airway, including the larynx or voice box and the trachea prior to performing a jaw surgery. We want to identify candidates who we expect will respond well to this operation and get better. Patients remain in the hospital following their operation while we complete the process of enlarging the lower jaw. Once babies are feeding well and gaining weight, we will send them home with their family. We continue to follow them very closely in our multidisciplinary cleft and craniofacial team. Patients require a second operation a few months after their mandibular distraction to remove the device we placed after the bones have healed. A high percentage of patients with Pierre-Robin sequence also have a cleft palate. We typically follow these babies on our cleft and craniofacial team so that we can perform their cleft palate surgery, provide them with dental, orthodontic, and speech services that are necessary to give them their best outcome and to monitor the growth and development of the jaw. Some patients will require repeat mandible distraction during their childhood due to poor growth, and often patients will benefit from definitive corrective jaw surgery when they have reached their teenage years. We pride ourselves on providing the best multidisciplinary care for this complex group of patients and achieving great outcomes for patients with neonatal airway disorders. We look forward to meeting you and your family and assisting with your child's care.